It's code red Taiwan. Tension is rising between the United States and China. As U.S. debates, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's proposed visit to Taiwan sometimes in August, China has warned the United States of very serious consequences. China's President Xi Jinping is seeking an unprecedented third term. He has to appear to be strong. But does that mean the U.S. then will have to back down? And if so, will that be an indication of changing world order? Or will the U.S. press ahead with this visit and stare the bully down? The world is watching. China has carried out a series of aggressive air force and navy exercises close to Taiwan amidst reports of an impending visit of U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi to Taiwan in August. China has warned the U.S. of consequences if Nancy Pelosi visits Taiwan as part of a broader scheduled visit to Asia. China is firmly opposed to Speaker Nancy Pelosi's visit. Recently, China has made it clear to the U.S. on many occasions that it is firmly opposed to Speaker Pelosi's visit to Taiwan. We are fully prepared. If the U.S. insists on going its own way, China will certainly take firm and forceful measures to safeguard its national sovereignty and territorial integrity, and the United States should be held responsible for any serious consequences. Chinese fighter jets have repeatedly violated Taiwan's air defense identification zone and ahead of Pelosi's planned visit, Chinese anti-submarine warfare aircraft, helicopters and ships carried out an exercise. The images were flashed on Chinese state television to send out a clear message to U.S. submarines in the Taiwan Straits. If U.S. insists on going its own way, China will take strong measures to respond and counter resolutely. U.S. national security apparatus is understood to have held a detailed briefing for Speaker Pelosi explaining the risk of her potential visit to Taiwan. She, however, has invited both the Democrats and the Republicans to accompany her. U.S. President Joe Biden is expected to speak to Chinese President Xi Jinping in the next 24 to 48 hours. The Republicans, on the other hand, are encouraging Pelosi, a Democrat, to visit Taiwan. In fact, former U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo, who incidentally is banned in China, has not only urged Pelosi to visit, but has also promised to accompany her. If Pelosi were to visit Taiwan, it would be the first visit by a speaker in the past 25 years. U.S. President Joe Biden has been of the view that Pelosi's visit at this point of time is not a good idea. He was quoted saying, Well, I, I, I think that the military thinks it's not a good idea right now, but uh, I, I don't know what the status of it is. Analysts argue if U.S. backs down at this stage, then China would gain an upper hand.